as a man, it's important to understand the function and the process behind domestic violence restraining orders so that one of these cases does not impact your family court case. What's going on guys? My name is Mark Real Jr., the father's rights attorney, and you're watching lesson number two of our masterclass on domestic violence restraining orders. So domestic violence restraining orders are one of the most common swords we refer to used in family court. I would venture to guess that men are on the receiving end of upwards of 97 to 98% of restraining orders. They're the party that it's filed against. Uh, we refer to this in the equal and shared parenting community as the silver bullet. Um, you fire the silver bullet, you make accusations of domestic violence, and you can quickly change the trajectory of your family court case. So as a man, it's important to understand the function and, and the process behind domestic violence restraining orders so that one of these cases does not impact your family court case. So the first thing that's got to happen is one of the parties has to file a restraining order. The vast majority of the time, the woman is the one to go file a restraining order. Fortunately or unfortunately, every single courthouse provides a great deal of resources. There are many clinics and other organizations in the community that help specifically women and very rarely men file and get temporary restraining orders granted. So a restraining order is filed and the other party is not noticed. It's a no notice filing. It's ex parte, it's on an emergency basis, and you do not have to give notice to the opposing party. So your wife, your ex-girlfriend, goes and files a domestic violence restraining order. Then it goes to the judge. And when it goes to the judge, the question is, do I grant a temporary restraining order or do I not? Uh, the burden is extremely low on temporary restraining orders. The vast majority of restraining order requests written by attorneys or other professionals, the temporary restraining order will get granted. So we have the, the why here, you can get a yes or a no on that. Now, once we've determined whether the temporary restraining order is gonna get granted, you're gonna have a 21 to 25 day period before you're set for your evidentiary hearing. So being on the receiving end of a domestic violence restraining order, you get no say until almost a month into the process. This TRO can force you to give up property such as cars or not be in the house, and in a lot of cases can prevent you for this three to four weeks from even seeing your children. So we have this 21 to 25 day period and then you get your day in court. And this is not orally arguing in front of the judge, this is a full on trial. Witnesses are gonna go up, attorneys are gonna direct examine, cross examine these witnesses. Uh, we're gonna put exhibits in. This is your day to make your case that under the California Family Code, there is no threat of ongoing domestic violence. Now, the decision after the hearing is whether to grant a permanent restraining order. Now, the term permanent restraining order I find ironic. At this initial stage, the judge has the ability to say yes or no. And if they say yes, they can grant a restraining order for anywhere between one and five years. Now, the most difficult part of this process for men is from the TRO stage to the low burden of getting a permanent restraining order granted is the fact that there's the very real possibility that this is going to have a major effect on your custody with your children. So when going through this restraining order process, it can seem prolonged, it can seem like it takes forever, but if we understand the process and you handle it appropriately and you find the right person, the right attorney, the right law firm to defend you, you can, in about a month, have this restraining order dealt with from start to finish. So that's the overview of the process behind domestic violence restraining orders. We'll see you guys in lesson three where we deep dive in.